All right. Today we are going to understand about the normalization schedule. And our example at our forefront is a loan of 10 million at an interest rate of 24% per year and payable in 74 months. This interest rate is converted to a monthly interest rate which equals to 24% divided by 12 because in a year we have 12 months. And uh, that equates to 0 0.02. And for now, we have the payable time as 74 months. From the Excel functions, we are going to generate the periodic payments, which is PMT, that we shall going to be taking back every month. Now, to compute for periodic payment, we click in a cell where we need the periodic payment to be, and we go to Home, Editing Tools, AutoSum, More Functions, and then we type in PMT, and then we click on Go, where the function is highlighted as PMT, we click on OK. From there, it shall require us to systematically enter the values as required in the function argument dialog. The first requirement is rate, which is B3. The second requirement is number of period, NPER, which is B4. And the last requirement is present value, which is 10 million, and it is B2. But we need to understand that since it is a loan, we have to consider the fact that we are going to take it back on a monthly basis. So it is minus B2. And after that, we click okay and our periodic payment is represented in dollars but because we need to represent this periodic payment in uganda shillings let us see how we convert it to uganda shillings we click in the cell that we want to convert click the menu item home and then look for the tools called number and from which we shall generate a dialog where we shall have currency highlighted and click on the shutter to choose the currency desired. You may always tap on the first character of the currency. For example, Uganda shillings, you tap on you and then gently scroll and we shall find UGX. Click OK and it will be formatted. At this level, when hashtags are indicated, this shows that the cell is not large enough for the amount we need. So at that level, you can be able to enlarge it a little bit and the values will be displayed correctly. Now, let us see our table elements in the loan amortization schedule. The first table element is period. Second one is PMT. The third one is interest. The fourth one is accumulative interest. The fifth one is principal. Sixth one is accumulative principal. And lastly, balance. Month zero, we have paid nothing.
Now, because our loan is payable per month, we are going to generate the number of times we are supposed to pay the loan, which is 74 times. So the formula goes as equals if open brackets period is less than 74 months comma period plus one otherwise end and afterwards press enter now we shall need to copy our formula until we get the 74th month and eventually after that we shall see end It's quite surprising that in our work we are seeing up to three months and after the third month the end note comes. Why is it like that? Let us revise the formula and see. In the first month it took 74 months and compared it with the period and it got for us one. In the second one it took the PMT. What does that mean? It means that while computing for the rest of the cells, the formula shifted to B5. And yet, initially, we took it in B4. What do we do? That requires us to fix at a level of B4. Four. And there we shall see fix B4 and we press F4 to fix on some computers, laptops mainly, you have to press Fn F4 plus F4 and then in, on most of the desktops you just press F4 and after that you press enter and we try to copy the formula again. Our answer is corrected and at the 74th month it prints end. The rest is just to edit in our first formula while trying to implement each column's requirement. For example, PMT, interest, accumulative interest, principal, cumulative principal, and balance. And let us see how we do that. We click in the formula that we want to copy, highlight the formula, click Ctrl plus C to copy the formula, and then click in the cell where you want to press the formula and press Ctrl V. After pressing Ctrl V, the value in the cell where you copy the formula will indicate but that's not the value you want at that point. So double click in the cell and let us edit the formula in that cell accordingly. The formula in that cell says, if A7, which is our period zero, is less than B4, which is our time that we are required to pay the period, A7 plus one, that's not what we want. In this column, we need PMT. So we shall edit the formula by removing A7 and putting the value for PMT. And the value for PMT is B5. So we click in the value for PMT and we check the second option. The second option is otherwise end and press enter. Then to copy the formula without dragging, when you hover the cursor on the right hand side of the cell, it will change its 
cursor size and it will change to a plus. And that point, you double click on the left click. And the formula will be copied. But at this point, we still have values that we didn't expect. Let us click in the second value that we don't expect and see what happened. Here, it has compared the cells and then took B6. But for us, we took B5. So what do we do? We go back to the first computation and we fix B5 such that the cell does not move. On fixing, we press F4 and press Enter. Hover on the right-hand side of the cell. The cursor will change and then double-click. Let us still copy the formula and paste it in interest. And then also edit that area. And what do we edit? Interest is interest rate B3 fix times into multiply by balance at the month before you start paying. That's month zero. So the balance at month zero is that. And at that level, we don't fix because we shall need that balance until the 47th the 74th month and press enter still to copy that formula up to the 74th month we hover at the right hand side of the cell and our cursor will change and at that point we double left click and our answers will be generated now we have zero because the rest of the months for the balance are not yet computed. Now let's go to accumulative interest. Accumulative interest is the sum of all interests from the first month. And how do we take that formula? The sum of all interests from the first month will be generated like this. Let us print our formula again and we edit it. And accumulative principle is the sum of all interests from the first month. So we say sum, open brackets, interest, press shift and full colon, bring back interest again, and fix the first interest of the first month. Press enter. The interest for the rest of the sales is at this, at this time the same value because we have not yet computed for the interest for the second month up the last month. Now, let us go to principle. We still paste our formula. And the formula for principle is PMT minus interest. PMT, periodic payments of the first month minus the interest of the first month, and press enter. And then we copy our formula. Accumulative principle, still paste the formula and edit the formula by saying that accumulative principle is sum of all principle from the first month. Press full shift and full colon and fix the first principle and then press enter and copy the formula. Our balance will still be the same case control V. Edit the formula by computing balance and balance is Say balance of the first before the first month minus principal of the first month 
and then we press enter and we copy our formula if we did our cell formatting properly we shall have our balance in the last month as zero so which means that in the last month in the 40 in the 74th month our balance will be zero so we shall end paying the loan in the 47th month so for us to view it properly we shall add just our columns and in the 47 in the 74th month our loan is being entirely paid off. I hope you've understood it very well. Thank you for watching.